Being able to navigate is a really important skill for a fell runner. Not only does it give you more confidence in races, but it lets you go out and explore areas that you might otherwise not have the confidence to go to. So here's a little exercise that I set for runners on a recent navigation course that I organised. Have a look at it and see if you could work out how you'd get from point A to point B. Um, have a look at the challenge and then press pause to think about how you might go about it. Um, when you've got your answer, press play again and see how we actually did it. So the challenge was to get from this point here, just above Oldport Dale, and to go right over to this tiny little pond here. Now this is less than 50 metres across and you can't actually see it until you're within about 20 or 30 metres of it. You've got to be stood almost right on it before you know it's there. So it's quite a difficult thing to find. So, as I said, press pause and think how you'd go about it, and then press play again, and I'll show you how we actually got from A to B. Okay, so what we planned on doing was heading across to this nether red ale clough. And as we did so, we actually picked up this drainage line, really straight line feature and that led us into the head of Nether Red Ale Clough. We then set a compass bearing roughly north and headed across Oldport Moor until we reached a steep ground dropping down into the river at the other side. We contoured along the top of the river, not losing any height, until we found this stream here. Now we knew that it we we're at the right stream because we could look across and see this saddle or col, this very distinctive uh, flat area between these two hills. So we knew where we were. We continued for roughly another 300 metres to pick up this stream here, and then turned left along it until it disappeared. We found the head of the stream. And from there, we then measured and took an accurate compass bearing and then we ran for approximately 180 metres until we found this pond. So that's what it, our route roughly looks like. The distance doing it that way is 3.36 kilometres. So that's one way of doing it. Um, I hope that's something along the lines of what you got. If you're interested in doing any navigation, then maybe visit my website and come on one of the navigation courses that I run. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.